subscribe to youtube.com slash JIL Worldwide and be updated with the latest teachings and other church happenings. Click the subscribe button now.
an awesome God he raised from heaven above with the power and the of our God is Once an awesome again, God. people of God, God is an awesome God he raised with hands lifted up to Jehovah the Almighty. Understand therefore this day that the Lord thy God is he which goeth over thee as a consuming fire. He shall destroy them and he shall bring them down before thy face. So shall thou drive them out and destroy them quickly as the Lord hath said unto thee. Jehovah has delivered us the year 2021 in our hands and will sow in the year 2022. And so let us give him a shout of hallelujah. 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 To the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For heaven come. 
middle of the storm. If this is your faith, church, declare it. Out from the ashes, hope will arise. In year 2022, the king is once again. And I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. Louder and louder. You gonna let the pure voices of the people be heard. The Holy Spirit wants to hear your voice louder, church. Once again, I'm gonna sing. Persecution comes. Hope will arise. Death is defeated. For the
pag-ibig ng Diyos, pwede po bang palakpakan natin ng malakas ang ating Panginoon? Hindi po tayo mapapagod ngayong umaga. Hindi po tayo magsasawa upang ibalik sa Kanya ang nararapat na paburi at magsamba. Hallelujah! You deserve our praises, Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shout, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. and seen your goodness in our lives. Salamat, Panginoon, sa nagdaang taon. It's only by your grace, Lord, that you have carried us, Panginoon. Maraming maraming pong salamat. Pwede po ba sa ilang segundo? Let us put into remembrance God's goodness in your life. Kung paano po tayo pinagaling ng Panginoon. Kung paano po tayo kinatagpo ng ating Diyos sa ating mga pangangailangan. Kung paano po tayo nakatanggap ng kapatawaran. Kung paano tayo nakaranas ng pagliligtas ng ating dakilang Diyos. Pwede po bang pasalamatan natin siya ng personal sa umagang ito. Yes, offer your praises to God. Offer your life to God this morning. Lift up your praises. Lift up your voices sa Panginoon. Ang Panginoon ay nakikinig at nalulugod ngayong umaga sa papuri na Kanyang mga anak. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are so grateful, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for your love is everlasting. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy is never-ending. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit, for your power is unlimiting. Salamat, Panginoon, dahil ngayong taon, kayo kami po ay nakatayo dahil lamang sa inyong mayamang habag at biyaya. Wala po kaming may pagmamalaki. Salamat po sa pagsama nyo. Salamat po, Panginoon Diyos, sa inyong dakilang katapatan sa aming mga buhay. And it is said in your word, don't remember the prior things. Don't ponder ancient history. Look, I am doing a new thing. Now it sprouts. Don't you recognize it? I'm making a way in the desert, paths in the wilderness. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Ang Diyos na ating sinasamba at pinanampalatayanan ay Diyos na gumagawa ng mga bagong bagay sa ating kalagitnaan. If you are believing that, yes, shout your praises to God right now. Lord, we believe and we receive fresh beginnings. Thank you, Lord, for new minds. Thank you, Lord, for a new heart. Thank you, Lord, for a new spirit. Thank you, Lord, for new mercies for new life and for a new year. Maraming maraming pong salamat. And Lord, we claim, Father God, that it's only by the precious blood of Jesus that we can be cleansed from all our unrighteousness. Ngayon pong umaga, kami po ay nagpapalinis sa inyong daki, mapupulang dugo, Panginoong Jesus, so we can come boldly before your throne and to your altar, Father God. At wala na pong hadlang upang kami ay malayang sumamba sa espiritu at katotohanan sa umagang ito. We, we, we ask, Father God, that you anoint your servant and your word, Father. Panginoon, fresh revelations. Thus saith the Lord, Panginoon, na aming mapapakinggan sa umagang ito. And He will speak your word with boldness, with confidence, and with great power from the precious Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in every homes, in every houses, in every rooms, in every hearts, and in every lives. Can we welcome the Holy Spirit this morning? The Holy Spirit, the manifest presence of the Holy Spirit. Lord, you are welcome here. You are welcome to move. You are free to do whatever you want to do. And Lord, empower every one of us. We, we desire, we are thirsty for your fresh revelations as the year starts, Panginoon. Maraming maraming pong salamat. You will crown this year with your goodness. You will crown this year with your faithfulness. You will crown this year with your unending love for each and every one of us. Maraming maraming pong salamat. We claim the victory over the entirety of this program as we bring back to you the highest glory, the highest praises, the highest honor in the matchless name of
our Lord Jesus Christ. At ang lahat mo ay magsabi na, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Bago po tayo umupo, pwede po bang pakitingnan ang ating katabi at basabihin, batiin po natin ng Happy New Year. Yan, isang matamis pong ngiti. Bago po tayo umupo, Happy New Year. Yan po, pwede na po tayo makaupo in the presence of God. Lahat po tayo ay sobrang excited sa taong, uh, sa taong 2022 and we would like to welcome all our viewers sa lahat po ng mga sumusubaybay sa atin. If you are watching this program for the first time, welcome to our church and welcome to the family of God. This is the live broadcast of Jesus is Lord Worship and Healing Service happening here po at JIL Prayer Garden, 101 MacArthur Highway, Bunlo, Bukawe, Bulacan, Philippines. Sa katapatan po ng ating Panginoon, sa ating ministeryo, tayo po ay napapanood hindi lamang sa iba't ibang parte ng Pilipinas, Pilipinas, maging po sa iba't ibang bahagi ng mundo. To be exact po, in more than 60 nations of the world, we are being live stream po. At meron din po tayong mga kasamang viewers sa Light TV, God's Channel of Blessings, A to Z Channel 11, at sa Signal Cable Channel 20. Naku po, dahil ngayong taon, punong-puno po ng pag-asa. Amen po ba? Ano po, may meron po akong gustong itanong sa inyo po at sa lahat ng ating sumusubaybay. What are you hoping for and praying for this 2022? Well, whatever it is, whatever you are hoping for and praying for uh, in this 2022 po, know that our God is a God of fresh beginnings. And the same God who has carried us through in the past year is our same faithful God that will carry us until the end of the year. Amen po ba? Pwede po bang palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon? Hallelujah! And today po, we are especially blessed dahil ang mapapakinggan po nating mensahe, God's fresh revelation, ay mula po sa ama ng ating pananampalataya. Siya po ang laging nagtuturo sa atin na kapag ang Panginoon ay napangiti natin, ang langit ay bukas sa ating mga buhay. Sino po ngayong umaga ang handa ng pangiti ng puso ng Diyos? Amen! Yan po, without further ado, we will hear God's word from our spiritual director, the founder and the president of the Jesus is Lord Church World wide and the deputy speaker of the House of Representatives is a pong malakas na palakpak sa Panginoon sa buhay ng ating minamahal Bishop Brother Eddie Villanueva. Praise God. Isa pa pong malakas na palakpak sa ating Panginoon. Glory to God. I'm sure kayo po at maging ang mga sumusubaybay ng ating pong uh, gawain ito ay excited to hear the word of the Lord from our spiritual director. Pero alam po ninyo, isang uh, napakagandang uh, balita po para sa lahat ng ating uh, mga sumusubaybay at para po sa kaalaman ng bawat isa sa atin na nahan dito sa JIL Prayer Garden. Simula po kahapon, simula po kahapon, ang atin pong A to Z Channel 11 ay napapalabas na po sa buong Pilipinas. Palakpakan natin ng malakas ang Panginoon. Ah, dati po ay uh, ilang uh, mga selected cities ang napapalabas po ang ating, uh, ang ating pong, uh, programa pero sa biyaya po ng Panginoon kaya binabati po natin ang lahat ng ating mga viewers ng a blessed, favor field Happy New Year po. At kagaya po ng binanggit kangina sa atin, uh, ni Sister Cosela talaga pong uh, kung tayo ay itinawid ng Panginoon in 2021 naniniwala po tayo na itong 2022 ang year of God's triumphant hope kaya po ngayong, eh, ngayong Enero ang atin pong declaration ito ay believing hope sabihin nga po natin believing hope again for the last time nako Alam nyo po, si Abraham against all hope, in hope, he believed and it was credited to him as righteousness. Kaya po kahit yung kanyang asawa, eh parang napaka-imposible na na magkaanak at siya rin po ay matanda na 100 years old. Yet, meron po siyang tinatawag na believing hope at naniniwala po tayo mula sa kawalan. Sabi po ng Bible, he called those things that are not as though they were. 
Yun ang Diyos. And so today, we're so excited to hear the word of the Lord na iyahatid po sa atin ng ating spiritual director and founder, president ng Jesus is Lord Church Worldwide. Let us welcome the deputy speaker of the House of Representative, Bishop Brother Eddie Villanueva. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Jojo. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. Sa pangalan po ng ating uh, <clears throat> Panginoong Esokristo, the real uh, owner and founder of Jesus Lord Church Worldwide uh, Ministry, at sa pamilya namin, of course, ni Sister Dory, uh, aming mga anak at ang buong GIL family all over the Philippines and all over the world. Bumabati po ako sa inyo ng happy, happy, healthy, triumphant, victorious, exceedingly blessed New Year sa lahat po sa inyo, mga minamahal naming GIL people all over the world at maging sa lahat ng buong sangkatauhan. Sa pagkatandaan natin, our Lord Jesus Christ became man and died on the cross of Calvary not for one group of people but for all human beings because God loves all human beings. That's why Jesus died for all. He died for the Catholics. He died for the Protestants. He died for, uh, for, uh, for Muslims. He died for Buddhists, for Hindus. He died for all people, not only for the uh, Filipino people, not only for the Japanese people, American people, Asian people. God who became man died on the cross of Calvary for the, for the redemption of the entire human race. Kaya ho, uh, napaka sarap makilala ang revelation truth na tayo na ipinanganak sa kasalanan ay tinubos ng Diyos. Kaya nagkaroon ng Pasko, nagkatawang tao ang tunay na Diyos, nagkatawang tao sapagat ang Diyos ay Espiritu, hindi siya pwedeng mamatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo, nagkatawang tao siya, sapagat ang ililigtas niya hindi kabayo, hindi kalabaw, ang ililigtas niya ay tao na may kaluluwa, may spirito. Kaya po tayong mga tunay na nakakilala sa Diyos ay napakahalaga na maranasan natin sa puso natin. Nothing in this world can satisfy us except the love, the goodness, the kindness, the compassion of our God. Amen? Palapakan natin sinali ang Panginoon. Amen. At uh, ang ating pong uh, team uh, sa, sa ating 43rd anniversary, alam natin yung triumphant hope, ano? Triumphant hope. Kaya ho, today, the first Sunday ng 2022, nagkaroon ng pageantry. Ibinulong sa akin ni Pastor Jojo ang ganda-ganda nung uh, symbolic ng uh, yung Ark of, the Ark of Covenant crossing crossing uh, for the inheritance of God's people. Kaya tandaan po natin, ang ibig sabihin ng triumphant hope, if you study carefully faith, faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. The definition of God, definition of hope, of faith by God, faith is the substance of things of poor and evidence of things which cannot be seen, which do not see. In other words, triumphant faith, the triumphant hope is faith in action. Why? Because faith without work is dead. James chapter 2, verse 28, 26. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen. Gusto ko rin bumati sa milyong-milyong sumusubaybay ngayon sa television program ng, uh, dito sa ating uh, television program, Jesus is Lord uh, uh, Worship and Healing Service na nakikita, of course, sa different social uh, uh, platforms, 
Facebook, YouTube, higit sa lahat sa A to Z, A to Z Channel 11, and A to Z Digitalized Channel 20. Yung G Digitalized Channel 20 po ay Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao na. Mula kahapon at uh, kahapon ho'y nagsimula uh, na, 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 ibalik, na, na nakikita na ngayon ang tinatawag na TV Patrol, TV Patrol dito sa A to Z uh, Channel 11 and A to Z Digitalized Channel 20. Mula po kagabi yun. At araw-araw na ang klamor ng maraming tao ay ma mabalik ang tele TV Patrol. Ay, at ito po ay uh, ang purpose po nito talaga ay... Uh, magkaroon ng full information, full enlightenment ang taong bayan. Lalo na kung darating ng mabibigat na mga disasters, calamities, yung audit, typhoon, typhoon audit, nakita nyo, sobrang distraction. Maraming mga lugar na bigla, hindi sila nabigyan ng proper uh, uh, information. Kaya sobrang devastation. Worth billions of infrastructures were destroyed. Thousands were killed. Kaya patuloy natin ipanalangin ng ating bansa uh, dito sa taong 2022 uh, ay uh, magkaroon ng uh, greater manifestation ang ating buhay na Diyos. Tandaan ninyo, pursuant to the prophecies, pursuant to the prophecies, magkakaroon ng world, one world government. One world government. One world system. Ito ho ay unti-unting iniahanda na ang structure. Sa buong mundo, kung napapanood niyang World Economic Forum, nakikita natin yung tatlong libong pinaka-influential na tao sa balat ng lupa ay nagkakasundo, nagkakaisa sila sa isang one world system, one world government, patungo na sa one world religion. At ito po yung mangyayari sa panahon ni Antichrist. Pero bago dumating ang Antichrist, sineset up na ito, magkakaroon ng multi-crisis besetting the entire world that will create an environment that will necessitate the establishment of one world order, one world government. At ito po ay, ang culmination po nito sa regime ni Antichrist. Ibig sabihin sa seven years great tribulations. In the study of eschatology, or in the study of the last things, mangyayari ito sa regime ni Antichrist. Kaya ho, kung babasahin natin ang Bible carefully, lalo na yung Matthew 24, nung tanongin si Jesus ng mga alagad, what are the signs of your second coming and the end of this age? Jesus Christ enumerated the different signs of the second coming, His second coming. Tandaan ninyo, Yung signs na yon ay signs for the second coming. Walang signs ang rapture of the church. Please be guided accordingly. Walang signs ang rapture of the church. Yung sudden rescue ng Diyos sa kanyang mga tunay na anak para hindi magsuffer ng seven years great tribulations. Yung sinabi doon sa John chapter 14 verses 1 to 3. Tingnan nga natin sandali. John 14 verses 1 to 3. Everybody read. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My, my father's house has many rooms. Sa ibang translation, King James. In my father's house are many mansions. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? Verse 3. 
And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. Ito po, maliwanag na babalik si Lord Jesus. Babalik siya. Pero dalawa ho ang paces ng pagbabalik ni Lord Jesus, yung actual second coming niya to destroy the regime of Antichrist ha, sa Armageddon War. Pero bago yun, magkakaroon muna ng rapture. At yung rapture na yun ay parang magnanakaw. Walang, walang notice, notice. <clears throat> Maaring pagkatapos ng service natin ngayon, magkaroon ng rapture o mamiyang gabi. Kaya tandaan ninyo yung 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 2. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 2. <clears throat> Mahalaga po itong preliminary message, na, preliminary or introduction na sinasabi ko sa inyo as we face the new year. Sapagkat kung hindi natin alam ang ating destiny, kakapakapa tayo sa dilim. Sabi ng 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 2, everybody read, For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. Thief in the night, parang magnanakaw sa gabi. Hindi magpapaalam, basta magnanakaw. Ganon ang rapture of the church. The glorious church. The radiant church. The church without spot, without wrinkle, without blemish. Holy and sanctified. Silang biglang dadagitin ng Holy Spirit to the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. At magkakaroon ng grand reunion in the air ang mga anak ng Diyos sa kanilang mga mahal sa buhay na nauna nang umuwi sa langit. Ka-excited na excited po ako sa rapture. Muli kong mayayakap ang aking mahal na mahal na may bahay, Sister Dory, at ang mahal na mahal kong anak na si, si Mayor Johnny. Anytime it can come like a thief in the night. Anong sabi ng 1 Corinthians chapter... 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52 yata. Tingnan natin. Yes, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 52. Everybody read. In a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable and we will be changed. We will be changed. Ito po yung mangyayari in the twinkling on a twinkling of an eye. Tingnan niyo yung New King James Version Bible. Yung may salitang, ay, ay na pala, ay na pala. In a moment, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Ipikit niyo. Tingnan niyo yung inyong mata, di ba? In the twinkling of an eye. Kumu pag pagsarado ng mata nakadilat agad I, ano tawag sa isang kisap mata kisap mata in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed tong katawan natin ito ipapalitan ng katawan panlangit katulad ng katawan ni Jesus ito po ang ating triumph bahagi to ng triumphant hope hallelujah it will be in the twinkling of an eye, like a tip in the night. Walang, walang notice, walang sign. Ang nakalagay na sign sa Matthew 24 ay mga signs ng actual second coming ni Jesus to destroy the regime of Antichrist in the army of Armageddon. Kaya ho, kailangan ready tayo anytime. Baka this year dumating ang Panginoon, we don't know. Sabagat sabi ni Jesus, nobody knows. Even angels do not know. Only the Father knows the time, the date, the day, and the time. As we are facing 2022, we must be so excited to prepare for our glorious destiny. Hallelujah. Yes, there will be many crises. Many crises will come. Ito pong worldwide pandemic ng COVID-19 pandemic, ay eh simula lang po ito. Dahil magkakaroon ng sangkatutak ng mga crisis, kaya ang mga major political, economic, business players of the world, 
will be instrumented by the devil to, to form one world government, one world system, one religion, by necessity, by necessity. Pero rejoice. Why? <clears throat> Hindi na ho tayo Hindi na ho tayo magsasuffer ng seven years great tribulations dahil merong rescue operation si Lord yung rapture of the church palakpakan natin ang Panginoon Kaya nung bago akong uh, born again, nabasa ko yung isang article o isang message ni Billy Graham na encounter ko. Ni Dr. Billy Graham. Ang sabi niya, in the last days, the world will become worse and worse and worse. But the genuine, faithful people of God will become better and better and better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We will become better and better. Why? Because we will obey the Lord's rules and regulations. To prepare ourselves. Because the church to be raptured is the church in power and in glory. Pag hindi ka kasama sa church in power and glory, may iwang ka sa kamay ni Antichrist. Hallelujah. Kaya triumphant hope. Hallelujah. Praise God. And before I deliver my first uh, message dito sa New Year 2022, tumayo tayong lahat sandali. Glory to God. Ang title po ng aking uh, uh, New Year's message is The Greatest New Year's Resolution. The Greatest New Year's Resolution. Bago po yun, salubungin natin ang bagong taon, ang 2022, na itinataas natin ng Panginoon. Salubungin natin ang 2022 New Year, 2022, na inuuna nating i-acknowledge ang ating bakilang Panginoong Diyos. Hallelujah. By singing a simple but very significant song, sing this song from the heart. Nothing in this world can satisfy me. Nothing in this world. treasures
Amang sumasalangit, sa tanging pangalan po ng Panginoong Isokristo na nangako at nagsabi sa John 16, verse 23 and verse 24, na anuman ang hihingi namin sa iyo, amang banal, sa pangalan ng bugtong mong anak na si Kristo Yesus ay ibibigay mo ng malubos ang aming kagalakan. Sa kapangyarihan ng iyong banal na Espiritu, idalangin ko, Panginoon, ihanda mo po ang puso ng bawat sa amin. Maging ang di mabilang na sumusubaybay sa television program na ito ng Jesus is Lord, Worship and Healing Service. Being the first worship and healing service this new year of 2022, basbasan mo ito, Panginoon. At ang tunay na mensaheng nang gagaling sa iyong puso, ang maihayag ng iyong alipin. At ito ay makarating sa apat na sulok ng daigdig. Hallelujah. Lord, all designed for the good and welfare of your own people and for your highest glory alone. Itago mo ang iyong alipin sa krus ng Kalbaryo, tang ikaw lamang ang maitaas at mapurihan. Yes, Lord, buksan mo ngayon pa man ang mga bintana ng kalangitan, ihandang ibuhos ang lahat ng pagpapala maging himala na kailangan ng bawat isa at mapatunay ng lahat. You do not change. You said in Malachi 3.6 and I quote your word, I change not. You said in Hebrews 13 verse 8, Jesus Christ, the incarnate God, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Ihanda mong ibuhos ang katugunan, kasagutan sa mga pangangailangan ng iyong mga anak. And I'm believing, the Lord, that you will supply not only the needs of your people, but even beyond their needs, according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Not according to the economy of the world, but according to the economy of heaven. You will meet all the needs of your people and grant the desires of the heart of your people who are pleasing your heart. Thank you, Lord. We praise you even now. Give back to you all the glory. In Jesus' name, everybody agree and say, Amen, Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Is your God dead? No. Is your God dead? No. Raise up your hands, please. Salubungin natin ng pinakamalakas na trumpeta ng katotohanan ang New Year 2022. Everybody say and shout, Our God is not dead. Our God is not dead. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over the Philippines. Over the Philippines. Over Asia. And Son of the Living God, is Lord, is Lord all over the earth. All over the earth. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Praise, Hallelujah. The Lord. praise the Lord. You may be seated, please. Remember Psalm 24, verse 1: The earth belongs to the Lord. And the fullness thereof. Hallelujah! Again, happy, happy, healthy, triumphant, victorious, exceedingly blessed New Year. Sa lahat po ng mga minamahal nating kababayan dito sa ating minamahal na kaisa-isang bansa, 
ang bansang Pilipinas at maging sa lahat ng ating fellow men, kapwa-tao all over the world. Happy, happy, healthy, triumphant, victorious, exceedingly blessed, prosperous New Year to all God's people. Amen? Palapakan natin ng Panginoon. Amen. Hallelujah. Ngayon po ang title ng aking uh, uh, New Year's message is The Greatest New Year's Resolution. Ano po ang inyong New Year's Resolution ngayon? Kahapon? O nung bago mag Noche Buena ba? Hindi. Medya Noche. <laughs> Alam po, marami pong mga tao, kinakagis lang ko na yan, Pag bagong taon, merong New Year's Resolution. May mga taong uh, itong mga pagkakamali ko nitong nakaraang taon, hindi ko nagagawin para magtagumpay ako. Itong mga maling nagawa ko, itong pagkakabaksa ko rito, itong pagkakamali ko rito, yung aking paninigarilyo, ititigil ko na. sapagat natuklasan sa katutak na kanser at sakit ang ibinibigay ng smoking. Yung pagkain ng mga matatabang pagkain at maaalat na pagkain, iiwasan ko na sapagat ito pala ang dahilan kaya maraming tao ay nagdadialysis. Maraming sakit sa kidneys, minsan sa liver, sa pancreas. Marami pong mga tao may New Year's Resolution. Yung hindi ko nagawa last year, gagawin ko ngayon para ang buhay ko naman magkaroon ng katuturan at kabuluhan. Marami pong New Year's Resolution ng iba't ibang mga tao. Sa akin, yung prayer ay nilagay ng Diyos sa aking puso. The greatest New Year's Resolution. na dapat mapaalala sa lahat ng taong nabubuhay sa mundo. Nakakita ko ho yung Deuteronomy. Ang greatest New Year's resolution po ay makikita natin ng maliwanag by reviewing some vital scriptures o sa salita ng Panginoon. Tingnan ninyo sandali yung uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5. Tingnan niyo mabuti ho. Oh. Everybody read wholeheartedly. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Titigan ninyo, titigan ninyo. Ang Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5. Sabi ng Diyos, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. <clears throat> naalala ko ho eh. <laughs> Medyo natatawa ko pero naalala ko nung... Nung ako ho ay nagsisimulang lumigaw kay Sister Dory. Ako po ay estudyante sa UP, college, nasa UP po ako noon. 16 years old yata ako o 17 years old. Umakit ho ako sa piplor nung, <coughs> nung UC, UC building, <coughs> University College building. Andun ako sa tuktok, wala nakakakita sa akin. Eh, yun hong, yun hong pinakabubong nun eh, simyento eh. Tinitingnan ko ho, yung, saan ba rito yung Quiapo? Ah, siguro sa banda rin yung NTC, yung National Teachers College. Ngayon ay National Teachers University, no? Doon na gano'n nag-aaral si Sister Dory ng panahon na yun. Tinitingnan ko ho. Pagkatapos, halos araw-araw, nanonood ako ng sine, dyan sa Sine Jesse sa Bukawe, Kasi yung restaurant sa labas at sa loob, sila Sister Dory ang operator, no? Natatawa ako, nanonood ako ng sine ng lunes, sumisingi to ako. Lunes, Martes, Merkules, 
Bakit ho? Deliriously in love si Sister Dory. Kay Sister Dory no, no, no. Deliriously in love. Naalala ko lang. Lang eh, ayaw na natin magsimbe. Kuminsan, may mga dahilan para hindi tayo makapagbigay ng ating uh, tithes and offerings sa banal na gawain ng Diyos para milyong-milyong tao sa balat ng lupa o bilyon ang marating ng Gospel of Jesus Christ. Nakaroon lang ng pandemic, may mga Kristiyanong itinigil na ang, ang kanilang obligasyon sa Diyos sa tithings at ang kanyo na lang love offering. Pwede naman ipadala sa mga uh, bank accounts ng finance department ng ministry. Bakit? Kulang ho ang maraming Kristiyano in loving God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Kung kinakailang, kahit gumapang kay, pakita mo sa Diyos ang pagmamahal mo sa Kanya. Kaya ho, ang buhay ho sa mundo habang papalapit ng papalapit ang second coming ni Jesus, hanggang papalapit ng papalapit ang seven years great tribulations under Antichrist, paigting ng paigting ang hirap ng buhay sa mundo. Ito nga hong inabot natin ngayon na uh, two years, COVID-19 pandemic. Akala natin matatapos na, nanganak pa ng Delta variant. Ngayon, Delta Mike Omicron, which is, uh, this is a, uh, a worldwide wake-up call to entire human race to repent and go back to God. Because from heaven, God can see all nations on the surface of the earth. The massive proliferation of wickedness. Wickedness of human race. Nakarating na ba sa inyo ang balita? May mga ibang bansa, ang sexual intercourse, tao sa hayop. This is true. Sa ibang bansa, may mga nabasa ho ako, nasisyak ako eh. Sumusobra na ang sama ng tao. Dito nga sa Pilipinas eh, height of pandemic eh, nire-railroad ang, ang, ang batas, ang panukalang batas ng divorce. And sabi ng Diyos sa Malakay 2.6, I hate divorce. God said it. Kung merong mag-asawang beyond repair, Merong batas naman yung tinatawag na declaration of nullity or annulment of marriage. Pero yung salitang divorce, God hates it. Ginagawa pa. Meron pang ni railroad, pinilit nilang railroad yung soge bill na kapaloob same-sex marriage sa gitna ng pandemic. At meron pang nagsulong ng nagsikret uh, railroading ng isabong, electronic sabong na yung sugalan ay ipapasok na sa bawat tahanan ng tao. Kaya ang dami nagsisuicide, ang dami nababankrap, mga OFWs, nag-ipon ng two years yung kanilang kinita, nakapanood ng isabong, natukso. Bakit hindi ka matutukso? Ay talagang tukso ng diablo yun. Daming nawawasak ang buhay. Sa gitna ng pandemic, you know, instead of appeasing the heart of God, instead of appeasing the anger of God, eh, katakot-takot ang pinakikita ng tao sa bawat bansa sa buong mundo. Noon ho tayo ay nag-Pastors Congress last October, nagkaroon tayo ng Holy Communion dedicated to, for, the, uh, for the termination of pandemic. Sabi nga sa akin nila, Uh, ni Congressman Doming, Kuya Ed, napansin mo, mula nang gawin natin yun, humi, 